All right, here are five things to know on this Tuesday morning. A man accused of killing three women in Gilgo Beach, New York, is expected to be charged with a fourth murder today. Officials have said Rex Hewerman was the prime suspect in the death of Maureen Brainerd Barnes, and they were working on getting the evidence to charge him. Hewerman was arrested back in July, charged with the deaths of three women at that time, including Megan Waterman from Scarborough. Hewerman was connected to the deaths through DNA. State officials say the remaining asylum seekers that are staying at a South Portland hotel will be able to move out by summer. The Portland Press Hill reporting there are 176 people still at the Howard Johnson Hotel. State leaders told the paper that 241 people were living there since last August. Since then, they've worked on finding permanent housing for those asylum seekers. They're getting work permits and they're getting access to English language classes as well. Congressman Jared Golden's office in Bangor has been vandalized. The words cease fire now in Sala was written across the windows in what appears to be spray paint. A spokesperson for Golden confirmed local police have been notified and in a statement Golden says his support for Israel is unwavering. Some Spectrum customers are going to be seeing higher bills next month. The company announced certain packages spanning its cable TV and Internet options will see increased rates starting on the 30th of January. One of the most notable changes will be a 25% price jump for anybody on Spectrum's low income Internet plan. Spectrum says this is all because of a, quote, significant speed enhancement to the service. Now, as we've gone through the winter, we've been actually low on snow, even though we have more on the way and there's a few flakes flying right now. If we look at Bangor, we're looking at Caribou, Portland, everybody about a foot shy of where we should be. Luckily, the good news, if you're a snow lover, we have more on the way here soon, actually, right now. And as we go through your day here today, Todd will have more on that for you guys in just a second. And that second has passed, and here's Todd. <laughs> and <we're> <laughs> he, he was exactly right. <laughs> uh, no, Aaron, Aaron's right. We got this uh, snow coming in, and it'll be pretty intense this afternoon. I do not expect good driving conditions this afternoon at all. All towns will be plowing, and all towns will be in cleanup mode late this evening after it tapers off. Good news is it's probably the only storm for the next week, although it's going to be cold. We should miss out on a storm Friday night into Saturday. All right, you can continue to check our website and mobile app for school cancellations and early releases. Good point. Good talk.